using your Android powered device to stay in contact with the people that are important to you in your life has never been easier, but you still need to fire up your contacts or dialer apps to do so. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now. Today I want to show you an app that makes that much easier by putting your favorite contacts in your notification shade. Let's say I want to get a hold of my senator, in this case, Orrin Hatch, from the great state of Utah. To do that, I can come into my phone, my phone app, my dialer, and just start typing in his phone number, if I know it. Or I can use some of the search functionalities in there. Another way I can do that is to open my People or my Contacts app, come in, see if I can find him. Was it under S for Senator, O for Orrin, H for Hatch? I don't know. Or I can just do a quick search. Not too bad, but it still takes time. If I'm inside of another app, say I'm reading a political article or whatnot, and I want to contact him right away, I've got to get out of that web browser or Facebook or wherever it is, go back home, find my contacts, find him. It's just a lot of work. Well, there's a way you can do that simpler on Android, and that's by creating a widget. So I'll show you that right now. It's called a contact widget, and it's just right over here. A lot of people don't know this exists. There's a 4x1 widget and a 1x1 widget. You just simply touch and hold, drop that on your home screen, and select who you want that to contact. Now you've got a one-touch way to contact whoever it is that you want. By the way, if you want to call Senator Hatch's office, that's his actual real number. I'm not afraid to give that to you because it's public information. That's why I'm using public officials for phone numbers and not, you know, fans, because you wouldn't want to be woken up at 2 in the morning. That having been said, that's still a lot of work, and of course if Oren had some other ways to contact him that I had programmed in, Google+, Twitter, Facebook, uh, all of those would show up and I can contact him that way as well. This is a very simple contact card. But, again, what if I'm in another app? Isn't there an easier way? Well, there is, and this is it. The app is called Contacts Notification, and it simply puts up to six of your most common or frequently or favorite contacts, whatever you want to call them, up in your notification shade. Let's go ahead and take a look at it, fire that up. Very simply, we can now come in here and contact Senator Orrin Hatch, or contact Andy Rubin from Google, or Erica Griffin from XDA Developers. Let's say I want to add someone new. We're going to go ahead and open this up. I've created somebody in here, a lot of uh, cameos to all my fans in there. Hey guys, big thumbs up to you. Let's go ahead and choose Benito Papendorf. And a thumbs up to one of my other friends who's doing a cameo in that picture right there. You've got this right here, which lets you choose quickly if you want to dial their phone number or send a text message. This is, of course, not his real phone number, and Benito Papendorf is not a real person. But if you want to go ahead and call, that'll get you Utah information. Once I do that, I'm all set. I can put up to two more in there. If I want to not show the toast notification, I can do that. I'll show you what that means in just a minute. If you don't want it to start at boot, check that. And if you don't want to show the notification icon up there, you can check that as well. Icon size defaults to tiny. I've set it to large. That doesn't seem to do anything, at least not for me. We'll go ahead and update it. I get a vibration letting me know that it's updated. And now when I pull that down, you can see Mr. Benito Papendorf is right there. Nothing happens. That's because it's building this card for the first time. If I had my toast left on, I'd get a toast notification in there saying, hey, we're creating this. That toast stays up a little bit after this card has been created, so I don't really like it. I'm willing to have the lag there because I know what it's doing. If we want to come back in, contact Andy Rubin. There we go. Very quick, very easy, and once we've opened Benito Papendorf once, he's super fast to open up again. I can email, I can phone, I can whatever. The nice thing about this app, in addition to it being free on the Google Play Store, is if I'm in any other app or any other home screen, wherever I may be, I'm a swipe and a tap. Let me do that again to show you the right way. I'm a swipe and a tap away from being able to contact Benito Poppendorf, as long as I'm a little bit patient with it coming up. What do you think? you like this kind of stuff? If so, go ahead and download it, give it a shot, let us know in the comments if you like it. Or, if you don't, make sure you include why. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Why not tell your friends about it on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+, or all three if you're on all three. For Pocket Now, throwing off the contacts notification for Android, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.